Hello everyone, it's Galina and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to make a lot of rainbow ink blending. I'm going to start by taping my watercolor paper on the cardboard. It will help me to make my ink blending easier. For both of my projects I'm going to use only Dissers inks and my first color called Picked Raspberry and I'm applying this color in the center of my card panel. I'm going to start from center to edges to create a focal point in the middle of my card panel. Next, around my pink spot, I'm going to apply it yellow color. It calls for Zelluzite Amber and I'm applying it with circular motion around my first color. I'm trying to overlap those colors just a little bit to create a nice gradient. I'm going back and forth with both of my dabbers to blend those colors well. My next color is Salty Ocean and actually I'm going to create two shades of ink with this one color. I'm applying a lot of ink around my yellow color and with a light hand I'm overlapping blue color over the yellow. In this way I'm going to create my third color, as you can guess, green, and without using green ink. It's super easy to create rainbow backgrounds using just basic colors of your inks. Now I'm applying my last color, it calls Wilted Violet, and I'm applying it only on edges of my card panel. Again, I'm trying to overlap my blue and violet colors. I'm going back and forth with both dabbers, with a circular motion, and I'm trying my best to blend those colors. So here's my finished panel with my first rainbow color combo. Now I'm going to turn this panel to a card. I'm going to cut out a one marble panel from a white card sock using a beautiful die called the Quilt Circle Panel Die, designed by Gigi Bolton. It cuts a lot of stitched lines and little circles inside of this panel, and I run it through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to use only this big die cut without inner circles. I put some double sided adhesive foam tape on the back side of my die cut panel and I'm going to attach it on my rainbow background. After that, I'm cutting off the excess paper with my scissors. To create a sentiment for this card, I'm going to use an oversized smile stamp set and dice. I'm going to cut out this big smile sentiment from a black glitter cardstock, and I'm going to cut out one more piece from vellum to create a shade behind my sentiment. It's going to be a birthday card, so I need to stamp one more phrase. I'm going to use a stamp It's Your Birthday from an oversized smile stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it with a black ink on a gray cardstock. Next, I'm going to cut a stripe with my sentiment, and I'm using my ruler and a craft knife. Now I'm attaching my day cut sentiment on a vellum piece and I'm using Tombow liquid glue, actually I'm using tiny dots of this glue and I'm putting it over the vellum piece. On the back side of the vellum I'm going to put some foam adhesive to create a nice dimension on my card. So I formatted my day cut sentiment in the center of my card and below the day cut I'm going to place my stamped sentiment. And here's my first finished rainbow card. I also embellish it with some transparent crystals. And let's move to the next rainbow color combo. This time I'm going to use a lot of ink pads. And I'm not going to overlap uh, some colors to create third color. I will use one ink pad for uh, each color. I started with a super bright yellow color called Mustard Seed and I apply it in, in the center of my card panel. Again, I'm using a watercolor paper. I love to apply inks in such way when I have a lot of ink pads to use and now I can see where to put other colors. So I will get the uh, same size lines of each color. And below the yellow color I'm going to apply my orange ink. It calls Carved Pumpkin and I'm in love with this color and I'm applying a lot of ink to create a nice bright background. My third color is Abandoned Coral. I'm applying this ink on the bottom of my card panel. It's not a super bright red color, but I love it because it looks like more warmer for me and it blends perfectly with my previous color. I turn it over my cardboard and now I'm going to apply my cold colors. 
I'm starting with a light green, it's called Twisted Citron, and I'm applying it below the yellow color. My last color on this card panel is Mermaid Lagoon. It's a beautiful shade of blue color, and I'm applying it below green ink. I applied two layers of this ink to create a nice blend between Twisted Citron and Mermaid Lagoon. Now I'm going to create my cloudy card background. I'm going to use this beautiful stencil called Rustic Rainbow, and I will use only those three clouds from the stencil. I put the stencil on my ink blended background, and I'm applying white pigment ink through the stencil. I'm using white pigment ink from Tsukineka from one of my favorite series of those inks called Brilliance. It has nice creamy texture and I don't need to apply a lot of ink layers to create a white cloud on my background. After I'm done with all my ink blending and creating white clouds on a card background, I'm going to cut out my panel with A2 layers rectangle dies. I'm using a third die from this set and I run it through my die cutting machine. Now we have a nice panel that I can put on a card base. But before that, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on my card background. I'm using a rainbow sentiment stamp set and I'm going to stamp this big bold uh, word rainbow using my Misty stamping tool. I recommend to use stamping tool or any other stamping platform because because watercolor paper has a texture and it will be hard to get a nice impression just for this one layer of ink. And also I used a lot of white pigment ink and it will be a little bit tricky to stamp a nice crisp image. In the same way I stamped a second part of the sentiment. On the back side of a card panel I put a foam tape to create a nice dimension on my card and I'm attaching it on a white A2 card base. Here's my finished second card and I love those little clouds behind my sentiment. I also embellished this card with few transparent crystals, I put them on a liquid glue. And here are my both cards with rainbow ink blended background, tell me in comments which one you like most. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel and I will see you soon, bye!